All right, so next up in our XXE series, we are going to pull down the contents of Etsy hostname, uh, but this time we're going to do it with an image file upload, um, which is really cool because up to this point, if you've watched the other videos, we've just been using XML um, based on requests that go on between the, the client and the server. But this time we're actually going to upload a file that contains our XML exploit, and then that's going to be parsed on the server later on. So. Um, yeah, to begin, the lab tells us that it's using this Apache library um, in order to process the avatar images. So before really diving in, I want to take a look at what Google has to say. Um, and we come across this blog post by Insinuator where they were able to exploit um, an XXE vuln inside of this Apache library. So. This is a super awesome lab, uh, super awesome blog post to read, but essentially we're going to leverage this payload that, that they provide to actually perform the exploit. So to get started, we'll head into the lab. And I'll show you where the, the vulnerability exists. So if we go and we view a post here, at the bottom, we'll find the comment section. And in the comment section, we have the ability to leave a comment, provide a name, but this is where the actual vulnerability is, is in this avatar. Um, because we can browse and we can upload an SVG image type. And since that image gets parsed as XML code, we actually can control whatever it is that, that gets executed when that, when that gets parsed. So what we're going to do is we're going to create our own SVG image that contains this payload. So I'm just going to copy the contents here. I've already got a file on the desktop. I'm just going to open this up with, uh, with Notepad. And we'll just paste the contents right into it. Right, let's just analyze it a little bit and see what it's doing. So what we're doing here is we're making, uh, we're, we're, we're creating the entity called XXE. And that's going to pull down this file that we specified. So in this case, it's pulling down Etsy password. For the sake of the lab, we just want to pull down the Etsy host name. So I'll make that modification there. Um, we're doing some more work to, you know, give it a width and a height and all that good stuff. But the part that's actually really exciting is right here, what we're doing is we're basically saying, take, go ahead and, and run that, that entity that we declared earlier and take the contents of that and create that as a text onto our image, or I guess embed that as text into our image. So what's going to happen is we're going to upload this file it's going to pull down the contents of Etsy hostname, and then we're going to be able to see that as text within our avatar image. So we'll make sure we save this here, and then we'll just close it out. If we head back into the web app, we'll leave a comment that says like and subscribe, which is great advice, by the way. I'd highly recommend it. <laughs> we'll throw in uh, infinite logins as the name. We'll grab our image, we'll drop that there into the avatar field. Um, and then, yeah, we'll just go ahead and, you know, email.com, infinitelogins.com, and we'll post our comment. So that should go through. Nice. We got our comment posted and then submitted. So if we head back to the blog, everything worked correctly. We should be able to scroll down and we should be able to view the contents of our image and actually be able to see the host name. Now, in this case, our, our width and height values were just way, way, way too, uh, <laughs> I think, too large. So let's go ahead and make a quick modification here on our file. And I should have done this in Burp Repeater because then we could just redo, um, you know, redo our, our request, but it's no big deal. Let's change this down to 128 pixels. Um, and just to make sure this is large enough, Expand that to 128 just to just to be sure. So I'm going to save this out, and uh, we'll just go ahead and resubmit this. Throw that in. Cool, and uh, we'll try it again. Head back to our blog. Nice. That looks to be much more legible. So I don't know if this is being cut off or not. Um, 
So let's just go see if we can try to solve the lab and, and make that work. So I'm going to duplicate this and then we'll hit back. And we'll submit our solution here. And uh, it looks like that's 8AE. I'm going to split this into two just so I can actually see it. Okay. 8A3 DEF 414 DD. Bam. We popped the lab.